What's up everyone, Grad79R, we're in the shop, we're going to do some maintenance on Floyd, um, putting some higher tier oil in it because I've been fi finding myself running the car a bit harder than I originally planned, so we've got some Redline oil to put in it. So, I got the same oil to run in Earl, but in a heavier flavor, and then I'm going to try these different filters, these Champ XLs, they have really good, I wrote that on there because I bought a bunch um they got really good ratings for what they are and they're less than four dollars a piece so we're gonna try that out but it's a cold saturday in maryland it's actually there's flurries outside well, it was flurrying but i got the paseo pushed out because i needed to get nice and cold so i can double check the cold start on it because it's been sitting in a warm shop so i pushed it out we're like it nice and cold so it's about 36 degrees or so right now and i got my buddy starlet back in the shop we're doing a whole bunch of upgrades on that next week so that's what's going on um nothing really new i haven't touched earl i need to but it's not a priority uh, because racing season doesn't start till late this year but that's what we're doing let's get floyd up Alright, Floyd is up. Let's take a look. It looks like my brand new axle seals are still leaking. Uh, I've been fighting this ever since I put the car together. It is, I don't know what is wrong. <laughs> the crack seals, they just don't seem to seal that well. I don't know. Next thing, these are parts store seals. I normally don't have an issue with them, like, at all. So, I don't know if the next move is to get some Toyota seals or what. I have no idea. But, we'll ignore it for now because, yeah, let's get this oil drained. And of course, I didn't buy a cigar over enough, so this is going to make a mess on my lift. So, I'm going to have to kind of hang my bucket here to uh, prevent Exxon Valdez. Once that slows down enough, I can put the bucket down. I need—I really need to get one of those rolling oil drain buckets. I always just kind of use these, you know, floor buckets, and I sit them on my stool here. There we go. Now I can put my bucket down. I'm gonna wipe off this gear oil so I don't put my hat in it again. This pisses me off. This is wasting oil. I just replaced this washer last time, so I'm not going to replace it this time. I usually run these, you know, three or four times and I, then I replace it. There we are. Good and tight.
right, we're gonna cut open my old Fran. Uh, it's got some bits on it because I was sitting it next to my kitty litter pile to let it drain, and it fell into it. It fell in, fell in, fell into it. Got a filter cutter here. Wind this back. Just for attempt at production value. Good idea to clamp it in the vise like this. These filter colors, they're cheap. I, I don't know how much I paid for this, but I got on Amazon for, I don't know, 30 bucks. You should, if you care about your uh, motor at all, you should at least periodically cut open filters. Some people cut open every one. I've established a, you know, like a baseline with the yard, so I only check like every other. So let's get this apart. Did I get it all? Oh, no, I didn't. I thought I did. Oh. There we go. Oh. But there's there's the base plate, pretty standard stuff. Silicone anti-drain back valve, nice and pliable, dripping everywhere. There's the filter, and that's that's from cutting. That's gold. That's from cutting the, the body. But uh, look pretty good. Nothing alarming. I'll pry through this more off camera because we're on a time crunch. Let this drip too. There's um, this leaf spring helps hold the filter in place, and there's the bypass valve on the bottom. But. Yeah, wire backed media, I don't know if you can pick that up. Where are we at? Yeah, these were just good filters. Yeah, the, the Fram Ultra is a really fine filter. A lot of people hate Fram for nonsense, but it's just propaganda more than anything. I'll pour that in there just for now. But there, yeah, nice can. A little sediment, not surprised. Yeah, the motor sat. This is the second filter I put on the motor. I initially got it running with uh, a SuperTech filter and a SuperTech oil. Actually, it was running a SuperTech oil. And those are fine things, but I did that for like the first, you know, a couple hundred miles and I put the frame on there. So anyway, got the red line in, got the, uh, the champ filter in, and uh, hopefully Floyd keep on going. See you in the next one.